Oh, yes, a hot DMV summer for sure. And you know summer is here when flip-flops become the go-to footwear of the season. But while convenient and comfortable, exports war experts warn against wearing them every single day. They can cause some issues. Uh, Claire Anderson is live outside our building in flip-flops, perhaps, in Bethesda. Good morning. Yes. You guys, you caught me guilty. I wear my sandals and my flip-flops all summer long because they're easy. They're such a go-to thing. I'm here with Dr. Ray Solano, who is a physician chiropractor. Hi, Dr. Solano. Thank you for being with us. So, okay, it's summertime. Of course, we are talking about flip-flops and shoes. Tell us about some of the dangers of wearing flip-flops first before we actually get into the shoes. Right, so, so flip-flops can be dangerous if you wear them excessively. Uh, and if you wear a flip-flop, that's not very supportive because a lot of people don't realize we have three arches underneath each foot, and I happen to keep a, a foot. No, just this casual foot behind you. So we have three arches underneath each foot, and if you don't support these arches underneath the feet, then over time, those the, the feet pronate, and then you're setting yourself up to things like ankle sprains, leg pain, knee pain, and even in severe set cases, even back and hip pain. Interesting. And when we say flip-flops, we just kind of mean all flat sandals, right? Right. So we're talking about flip-flops, which are which are flat sandals. Um, this is an example of a flip-flop we see nowadays where people are wearing around this time of year. Um, very flimsy, not very supportive to support those three arches I just mentioned. Um, these straps don't always stay on the way they should, um, and you're making your foot and ankle vulnerable to a sprain. I'm very guilty of wearing these. Okay, so then there's another version. Right, so my recommendation, this is something I talk to patients about in the office, is something a little bit more supportive, something that's a little bit more, um, I guess, shock absorbing down through here. Look at the difference in this flip-flop or sandal versus the original one that I showed you here. Look at the difference in, in just, I guess, stability, sturdy. This strap here will stay on your foot a little bit better and protect the bottom of your feet from like glass and sharp objects. I feel like when I wear flip-flops sometimes I'm squeezing my toes to keep it on and I bet that doesn't is not so good for your feet. Yeah you know, that's a good point that's that's very common and that's how people a lot of times will develop nerve pain underneath the bottom of their feet tingling numbness and those kinds of things but really in actuality you really don't want to wear these shoes for long periods of times not the greatest of footwear for like a museum visit or the zoo or even even going through the mall because all of that pounding on your feet, which is sometimes three or four times the way to your body, just starts to travel up into your knees and your hips, causing problems, and you'll probably end up in my office. Yes. Okay, so what is a good choice if you want to wear sandals? Give us an example of that. Right, so here's my recommendation. Something that's got more stability, right? So something a little thicker, something with more shock absorption. Um, I like these straps because they seem to hold the sandal on to the foot a little bit better, and they're adjustable, adjustable straps. And most importantly, something that's going to have a good, firm arch support, something that's going to support those arches underneath the foot so that when that stress travels, it travels evenly up through the leg, knees, and back, and you're able to last a lot longer in something like this rather than those flimsy flip-flops. And if you invest in those shoes, you won't have to buy so many flip-flops because you have to buy a new pair. Okay, quickly, give us some tips. Say you did wear those shoes all around and your feet are really sore and tired. What are some ways to make them feel better? Right, so my recommendation, if your feet hurt, at the end of the day or after you've worn non-supportive sandals, uh, the first thing you want to do is elevate your feet. What a great way to get that blood back into those legs. Secondly, if you notice inflammation, swelling, ice goes a long way to reduce that. And then even worse, if you feel tingling, numbness, or if you feel those pains traveling up into your body, it's time to call your doctor. Okay, thank you so much for these tips. Uh my shoes are definitely um, flat shoes, and so I actually need to invest in some better sturdy shoes. Thank you so much for being with awesome. us for your tips. I should probably ask my feet some time also. Uh, hopefully we all learn something from this. Back to you.